Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the world. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Well, the modern version of that is a lot more fluid and flexible than in bygone times. There's a much greater understanding of the need for players to cover forward running and it enables risk-taking while the gaps are filled. I'm very much a fan of it. There are a lot of people who seem to have kind of ignored it and just put it to bed, but it still works, it's still valid, and I think we're going to see it be successful here. The action has already started. He's got it on the right now. What's on? Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Hoists it forward, cuts it out. That's a go for goal! He's delivered all right! Now, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball, and it all came good. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Shoots! A real chance and a real let-off. Ah, oh, good play all round. He was well hustled and, and still got a shot away. And it's played forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. over here
all the way back and they start again. Well, the score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. Defenders on the back foot, gets it back. And now the breakaway. He's gone for it! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. The Patrick still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. The opinion you'd like to express on the first half? A lead that's fully justified for me. They've shown some excellent counter-attacking now, so it's paying dividends. Leading 1-0 at the break. And the game has already resumed here. Well, it's been tight, Peter, but I'm expecting things to, to open up now and we get some free-flowing football. Now the counter. Keeper's ball. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Beautifully done. Oh, lots to admire in the run and the defending. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Lobs it in gently. Gets into some space. They've won a corner. <laughs> there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. A decent finish. Well, his reaction to that was ultra sharp, Peter. His anticipation is in fine working order. <laughs> There's going to be another change here. Forward it goes. so far Jim well while the temptations always there Peter I think it would be ill-advised of them to try settle for what they've got battles to win it back is there any support he might not need it keep calm and carry on that's the job in a nutshell now Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Away from immediate danger. And that's been one straight back. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. A real chance to break. It. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. So Jim, how do you reflect on?